tin is a chemical element with the symbol SN in the periodic table. A pliable, silvery white metal, tin resists corrosion from water and can be used as a protective alloy for other metals. Tin is one of the seven metals of antiquity used in ancient times across Europe, Asia, and the Middle East. While there are 86 known elemental metals today, ancient civilizations had identified and found use for seven. Gold, silver, iron, copper, mercury, lead, and tin. Tin was used extensively by ancient cultures as an alloy with copper to make bronze weapons, tools, and statues. The oldest tin bronze artifact was found at the Plochnik archaeological site in Serbia, a piece of tin bronze foil dated to the mid-fifth millennium BC. The ability of ancient civilizations to alloy tin with copper led to the Bronze Age, which began around 3500 BC in the Near East with the rise of Mesopotamia and spread across Europe, Asia, and Sub-Saharan Africa. Known sources of tin in ancient times include the southeastern tin belt that runs from Yunnan in China to the Malay Peninsula, Devon and Cornwall in England, the border between Germany and the Czech Republic, Brittany in France, Spain, Portugal, Italy, and Central and South Africa. These days, the major producers of tin include China, Indonesia, Myanmar, Brazil, Bolivia, and Peru. We use tin for tin cans, roofing, window glass, lithium-ion batteries, metal pipes, and dental care products. And how about that smartphone you are holding? We need tin for that too. As a solder used on circuit boards, tin is an important part of the supply chain for many consumer electronics. The Southeast Asian archipelago of Indonesia is the world's largest producer of tin, second only to China based on 2016 production. Indonesia is estimated to hold 17% of the 4.7 million metric tons of tin available worldwide. 90% of the tin produced in Indonesia comes from two small islands off the east coast of Sumatra, Bangka and Belitung Islands. Tin was first discovered on Bangka Island around 1710 by people from Shantan in Indonesia and Johor in Malaysia. In 1722, the Sultan of Palembang, who ruled Bangka at the time, granted the Dutch East India Company the sole rights to the purchase of all tin on the island. By the late 1700s, Bangka was a prominent producer of tin. It wasn't long before the company suspected there might be more deposits on nearby islands. In 1851, a Dutch party led by Baron Vincent Gildemeester and John Francis Loudon discovered tin on neighboring Belitung Island. The two men subsequently formed a mining company called NV Billiton Mashapich, which was established and floated in The Hague in 1860, where it acquired from the Dutch government the mineral rights to both Belitung and Banka Islands. In the early days of tin mining on Banka Belitung, Chinese laborers known as coolies were brought in to work on the mine. Native islanders were hired only on auxiliary tasks. In 1864, in an effort to encourage permanent settlement, the company brought in 137 Javanese women to marry the Chinese laborers. This venture reportedly had limited success. Occupational health and safety was another early challenge, with over one-third of laborers perishing annually in the first several years. NV Billiton Mashapic, which was eventually to become BHP Billiton, continued to mine tin in the province until 1958, when Indonesia nationalized Dutch properties following the National Revolution and Declaration of Independence in 1945. The Indonesian government established PT Tima as a state-owned enterprise in 1976 to develop the national tin industry. Today, PT Tima has ongoing mining operations in Banka Belitung and a mining permit area of 331,580 hectares onshore and 184,000 hectares offshore across the country. 
There are also significant amounts of artisanal and small-scale mining ASM, in Banka Belitung province, locally termed unconventional mining or tambang inconventional tea. These types of operations are typically run by individuals, groups, families, and cooperatives with limited or no use of mechanical equipment.